the collection came about because Arthur couldn't, couldn't help himself from collecting stuff that fit in with his understanding of order, space, space, pattern, structure. He collected everything everywhere that seemed to fit in with this, which meant we had these absolutely packed cabinets full of stuff. Um, and some of it was stuff like this. And some of it was commercial toys that explained some aspect that he wanted to, to talk about. That one's a thing called the rainbow box. Another thing that if I couldn't find this on the day he wanted it, I had to go hunting until I did. Some of it was things that he asked someone to make for him to his specifications when he wanted to show something, if you would hold that a moment, when he was talking about how the tetrahedron unfolded. and fit one way into the rectangular. Uh, should I move this so that it's in the, in the view? And then he wanted to say, but there's another diagonal, you realize. How can we get that other diagonal? Come on, behave. There it is. So he would have things made. He would ask someone, I want, I want it like this. And he would send students and colleagues and, uh, and various people off to make things for him. Or sometimes a student would come in with a final project. And what I'm going to do is simply open this up. The student who made this didn't do very much explanation. She simply put it on the table at first and began opening. There's a piece actually missing, which was that there was a tiny little tetrahedron inside this box that didn't open up. But when she got to this box, she opened up this one, pulled out the tetrahedron, and held it up, and it had a jingle bell inside. <laughs> <laughs> and it was wonderful. And then, of course, it was my job to pack all these things up and put them away every time. And I'll do that later on. So there were all of these things, and some of them I knew what the origin was, and I'm going to show you one where one of you out there may be able to say, oh, I know where that came from, or I know why that was made, or have a story, because you are an amazing resource here for the collection, just as the collection is an amazing resource for everyone who will come in contact with it. So one moment. And on the one hand, you know, it's just a jitterbug. But on the other hand, I hadn't seen one before that extended the, the surfaces so that you then got the octahedron with the cube octahedron embedded inside it and the tetrahedron when it was closed with the octahedron that is at the center. And here's this old fragile model. I don't know when it was made. I don't know if it's one 
Arthur had commissioned. Someone out there may know something about the history of this, and we'd love to have you tell us what you know. And there are an incredible number of objects in Karen's office that we would love to have more of the history, because I look at the design science teaching collection as actually having three parts. There's the science piece, which is the, the rules in space that make all of these things work the way they do. The structure, the order, the mathematics that space has, whether we discover it, discover it or not. There's the design, there's what people have done to make that into artifacts and into wonders like this. And then there's a piece that isn't in the name, it's the teaching collection, but there's the teacher collection. There's all of you who can explain when you have the rules of space and you have the artifacts who can expand on what the rules are and what the artifacts are and get more wonders made. So. Thank you.